Hey guys, so I am back again and I'm going to finish part two of my perfume collection. Now remember, all these perfumes that I'm about to show you are all the actual alcoholic based, alcohol based, not alcoholic, alcohol based perfumes. So these are the ones that are going to stay on a lot longer if you wear them. So this is my second part like I just said. So continuing, we're going to just continue. So I have this one. And it is With Love by Par or Paris Hilton. With Love by Hilary Duff. And it's like a huge bottle. I don't even know how much it is. How much is it? 3.3 fluid ounces. But it looks humongous. And I love the packaging. Like this bottle is amazing. It's so sophisticated and so elegant. I just love it. And to top it all off, the smell of it is so amazing. Um, don't know exactly what I'm smelling. But, um... It's really musky and it's really strong. Definitely a fall winter smell. It just smells so good, you guys. So good. Um, if you have this, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have it, you should go pick it up because it's so cheap if you go to Walmart, um, Marshalls or Target. It's so cheap there, especially during the winter time and the Christmas season because they go on sale. So go pick yourself up one. Alright, so the next one I'm about to show you is Mark Jewel. And this is from the Avon. Um, Lauren Conrad's line mark and I'm almost gone I'm like down to the third row right here and this stuff is so good it's so girly but at the same time it's really strong in like a musky scent definitely for the fall time um, don't know what I'm smelling again I'm really bad at describing stuff but there's like some fruit in there mixed with um, amber. I think it's amber. Amber's in here. But it smells so good if you're going to go out at nighttime. Uh, spritz a little, a little bit if you want to wear it during the day. But if you're going out at night, this is perfect for it. Okay, so I'm wearing this one today because I really felt really fun and really fruity. And this has like every fruit in it. This is Escada Moon Sparkle. And as you can tell, I love this stuff because I'm halfway gone. Um... It has like every single fruit in here. It has apples. I can definitely smell the apples. Um, berries, like every type of berry it has in here. And I love the the downfall of the color. Is it ombre? I think I said ochre in my last video. and it's, I think it's ombre. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. But it comes to like a light, light, light purple. And then it goes all the way down to this really dark, mysterious purple. And I, this is what captured me. Like, I love this bottle. This bottle is so amazing, and I got it on clearance at Marshall's for $13, I think. And then what got me the most is when I smelt it and smelt how amazing it is. So I'm going to smell this the entire day because, oh god, it's just so good. It's so good. I think it's more of a summer scent, but I'm going to wear it during the fall just because it's so good. Okay, so the next one I have is another Mark line from Lauren Conrad's Avon. And this is the Self Sanctuary Violet Berry Scent Mist. And it's considered a mist. It's not an Eau de Perfume, but it stays on like one because if you spray this in the morning, it'll stay on without you respraying it all the way till night. Or at least it does for me. And the scent of this is so clean. It is so clean, you guys. With like the littlest hint of berries, and like the rest is just so strong of flowers. And it's so good. Oh, this stuff smells really good. And I like the how foggy the bottle is. It's a really nice bottle. Alright, the next one I have is Paris Hilton. And I am seriously almost gone. I don't even know if you guys can see how little I have. Let's see if I turn it upside down. If you guys can see that line, I have like nothing left. But I still use it because it's not done. So this is the, I think this is just the Paris Hilton's Just Me. It's really hard to explain this. The first time that I smell it, it's I smell like a really strong spice, like a peppercorn spice, or like a pepper spice, something like that. And then that's all I smell. But I love this so much, obviously. I've used it all. It's just really intriguing, I guess, and it's really attractive to smell. It's just, it smells really, really good. This isn't my favorite one that she has, but it is one of my tops, I guess. So the next one I have is also from Paris Hilton, and this is her Heiress. And if you guys didn't know, she also makes a perfume for men exactly like this. It's called Air. Um, 
The back of this is pretty cool. It has a mirror in the back. Um, don't mean to glare you guys, but it has a little mirror in the back of it, and it's pretty awesome. This one's, you can't really see through, but this one you can see perfectly fine through. Like, I can see everything. <laughs> so, this is really cool. I really like this one. It smells like shampoo to me. Um, oh, I just smelled something, and I forgot the name of it. It smells like shampoo, like, when I smell shampoo, I think of really clean, things like you just got out of the shower really clean like squeaky clean and this is what it smells like but you can smell like some fruit in there I can smell a fruit I just don't exactly know which one but it smells really good um I've used quite a bit of it so yeah more of a springtime scent though wouldn't recommend it in the fall just because it's it's a little too clean for the fall clean isn't bad for the fall though stay clean just you know wear something else <laughs> Okay, so the next one I have is also from Paris Hilton. I don't know. I'm just pulling out of this box. I'm not really looking for what to pull out. So this one is actually, I think this is her signature one. I think this is just the one that's called Paris Hilton. And I got a miniature one for Christmas for my mom and my sister. Which I really wish they would have gotten me a bigger one because this stuff smells really good. I can smell um, flowers, but I can smell something else. And I'm not exactly, exactly sure what I smell, but I can smell flowers for, sh for certain. So there's definitely a floral scent in there. For some reason, I smell my sister's diabetic needles, and I don't know why. That's really weird. This is not what it smells like, I'm, I promise, but that's what I smell right now. And she's not here, so I don't know. Okay, so the next one I have, which you guys have probably heard all about this, it's, it's a really cheap perfume that you can get at, like, Walmart, Kmart, like, anything like that. But it smells really good. It's more of a mature scent, though, so I wouldn't recommend, like, someone in their teenage years to get it, even though I did. Uh, this is the Sweet Honesty, and I got this given to me as a gift for Christmas for my grandma, so... Grandma. Okay, so, this stuff smells like baby powder. And I actually enjoy the smell of baby powder. I don't know why, I just do. So to me, this smells really, really nice and fresh. And I'm pretty sure if you layered this with like, um, uh, for instance, if you layered it with this and this, I'm pretty sure it would smell really, really good. Just because fruit with this really soft, delicate smell would like just make it really, really nice. So I haven't used a lot of it, as you can tell. I'm, I don't know. I'm not really in love with it, but like I said, if you mix it with something that smells really good, it might be really good. Okay, so the next one I have, which I wore this yesterday, is Amour Amour. Um, don't know what this word is. I think it's it's C-A-C-H-A-R-E-L. I'm not sure what it says, but this is what it looks like, and it's a little red bottle. You guys have got to know what this is. It has a little rose right here, and... This is like the tiniest bottle, but like the perfume lasts forever. I took this in my purse. I think I wore it on Halloween. As No, I wore it on Halloween. That's when I wore it. I wore it on Halloween. And I was in love with this because it's such a dark scent. It's a dark, mysterious scent, which is why I wanted to wear it on Halloween because, you know, dark and mysterious and stuff. I don't know exactly what I smell, but it's a very musky, dark, strong scent. Okay, I think I only have a couple left. I have one, two, three, and then I have a double, and then I have three really, really small ones. Okay, so I have this Glow by JLo. I've had this forever. I got this in like a gift set, but I've used some of it, so I mean, it's not like a waste. But the reason I don't like using this is because this is one of the ones where you have to actually flip it over because it doesn't have a thing on top. This smells so good, you guys. It just smells really, really clean. It kind of smells like Sweet Honesty, but with more of a pow. So this is like a baby powdery smell, but it has more of a attractive smell to it, I guess. So this is Glow by JLo, and it's just the miniature version. The next one that I'm that I have is uh, from Curve or from Curve. Yeah, it's from the company Curve that makes like Curve Crush and Curve Chill and stuff. And this one is actually Vintage, vintage Soul from Curve. So, I'm not exactly... Oh, I'm very low. I'm very low on this. I have, like, this much left. But this 
is actually more of a masculine smell than a feminine smell. Overall, I do enjoy it. As you can tell, I'm, I'm almost done with the whole bottle. But I did wear this during my high school years, and I wouldn't recommend doing that. I had a friend I wore this around, and they didn't like it very much. They said that I smelled like an old lady and t for me to never wear it again. But now that I'm older and more mature, this is actually a really, really decent smell for me to wear. It's, like I said, it's more of a cologne masculine smell. So it's really, really strong. So I think you would only need about one, not even one spritz of it to, to have it stay on all day. So the last full size bottle I have, or last perfume bottle I have, is Juicy Couture. And this is the actual Juicy Couture perfume. This is not Viva La Juicy or their new one. I got this Christmas time last year from my mom. And again, these are the ones that you have to kind of pour out. But it smells so good. It smells really fruity. And at the same time, it has flowers in it. And it's such a feminine, fun smell. Like, it's a, it's a good smell if you're going out with your girls and you want to have a good time. Like, just spray some of this on. It smells so good. But, okay, so I have this hookup right here. And it has Mark Jewel, which I showed you on part two video, this one. And it has Sassy Mark, which I showed you on the part one video. And these hookups, um, you can actually just take them apart like this. And it has, this is the perfume bottle right here. And you can carry this around really easily in your purse. And you can actually take these apart. Um, yeah, you can actually, <laughs> they're stuck on there pretty well. But you can take these black things out of here and just be stuck with the hookup. And you can actually just take one perfume with you at a time and throw it in your purse instead of throwing this whole thing in there. And they're really handy too. They're really handy. So the last miniature, these are like samples, but I got these for free at Victoria's Secret. And these are their Wish Pink, Live Pink, and Hope Pink ones. Like the, they have like huge bottles now. But these smell so good. Um, I'm not going to explain them because it would take too much time to explain how these smell. Because they all smell like flowers. But each one has their own separate smell. But yeah, these all smell really good too. So that is the last of all of my perfume. Um, I'm pretty sure I have some more body splashes that I haven't shown you. But they're just really miscellaneous ones. And I just wanted to get this one out of the way because people have been requesting this forever and I haven't been to it. So, yeah. So there it is and thank you for watching, you guys.